Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I have a really cute birthday card to share with you. Uh, we have a, a little technique that I'm going to do on it and then I also have what I consider a gift card holder but it could be a treat holder too. This is all part of the One Stamp at a Time blog hop and our theme today is 16 candles. So, as explained to me, it didn't have to be for a 16-year-old. It's just birthday themed. So, oh, glad that was clarified. <laughs> okay, let's flip the camera around. Don't forget when you get to the end of the video, there's going to be a link in the top right corner of the screen where you can click on it. Head over to my blog so you can join along on the blog hop. Everybody's making birthday themed cards today. And I know there's at least 20 different blogs involved. So it's a lot of fun to hop along and see what everybody came up with. Let's flip it and get busy. Okay, I'm going to come in here with my cardstock layers first. I have chosen a base of Grapefruit Grove. This is 5.5 by 8.5. And, and we're just going to fold that in half. Burnish that edge good with our bone folder. Then we have a whisper, I'm sorry, a crumb cake layer that's four by five and a quarter, a whisper white layer that's three and three quarters by five. Then I've got a scrap of Bermuda Bay, a scrap of whisper white, a little strip, this is three quarters inches wide. We're gonna cut it to four of the Birthday Bonanza designer series paper. Also, an inside layer that's four by five and a quarter of Whisper White. I'm gonna set that over there so I don't get it confused. A scrap of crumb cake. Another little strip of our designer series paper that is also three quarters of an inch, is three quarters of an inch wide. And we're gonna cut that down in a die. And then I've got a half inch by about mm, two and a quarter inch piece of our silver glimmer paper. So this is gonna be our bling on our card. Okay, first thing I wanna do is a little bit of die cutting. So, I wanted a little strip of this designer series paper to be on the very bottom of the tag. And we are using the Bonanza dies. Where did my tag go? Hang on, here it is. We're going to die cut the stitched edge tag on the crumb cake. I am going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to add a little bit of glue down here and I'm going to glue this layer right in place. Oops, it's kind of sliding around there, okay. And now I'm going to take this over to my die cutting machine and I'm going to die cut it with that strip on there. Hang tight. Okay, here we go. Now, by doing this, whoops, I have die cut that stitched edge into my tag and I think that's just a really neat look. So that's a good way to be able to do that. And this is a fabulous way to use up all your little scraps. You know we have a ton of them. I always put them back in with my paper. Lots and lots of little strips in here. Great way to take advantage of those. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take this smaller white layer. This is the three and three quarters by five inch white layer. I've got three colors of ink here, Grapefruit Grove, Crushed Curry, and Bermuda Bay. And then I've also got a memento for um, the treat holder or gift card holder. So, Grapefruit Grove, Crushed Curry and Bermuda Bay. I need, oh, I don't have it mounted, hang tight. I'm gonna use this candle stamp and I'm gonna stamp a bunch of candles in the background. So I'm gonna start with the crushed curry and just kind of stamp some candles around. You want them to be very random. And now I'm gonna grab my chamois if you guys need something to clean your stamps, this is probably the best product ever. You just rub it on there like that, boom, stamp is clean. Then I'm gonna do, whoops, I didn't need that. 
Then I'm going to do some of the little party hats in Bermuda Bay. And I'm just going to randomly stamp those around. And maybe one more right there. And I'll clean that. Now then we've got this little adorable pom-pom and I'm going to use the Grapefruit Grove for that and this is going to be the pom-pom on the top of our hat. And also the flame on our candles. Now one thing you can do to kind of bling this up a little bit is to bring in your Wink of Stella and color those candles. Now I know it's probably really hard for you to see this in real life, but it does add a lot when you do that. Because when you tilt it in the light, people are gonna say, oh look, that glimmers, woo. Okay, here's our Whisper White scrap. And I am going to stamp the Happy Birthday in Bermuda Bay and then punch that out with a one and a half inch circle punch. Then I want to add a couple candles to this and I want them to be a little bit lighter. I don't want them to like drown out my words. So I'm stamping them off once before I put them on this layer. Back to our pom-poms. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna stamp them off once before I put them on this layer so they're much lighter. Isn't that cute? Okay, the last thing I wanna do to this layer is I wanna do a little bit of splattering on here. Let's get our ink pads out of the way. I'm gonna bring in the Grapefruit Grove Stampin' Bright marker, and I'm just going to put the tip inside the lid here and flick it at my layer. Look at how cool that is. It just kind of really breaks up the background and adds a lot of interest there. Here comes our tag, and I was excited because I've got just a tiny bit of the Daffodil Ruched Ribbon left on this roll and now it's empty. So this was the perfect place to use something like that. You know we keep everything, right? <laughs> I know you guys do too. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this through here. Now, if you decide to get the Bonanza Buddies with the Bonanza dies and also a pack of the Bonanza, Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper, you're gonna qualify for a free celebration item. Because every time you hit $50, you're going to get to choose a free item. And I am bringing in the Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequin Combo Pack. This matches perfectly with all of this designer paper. And I thought this would be the ideal twine to tie on the ribbon on the top of our tag. So I'm just going to bring this in here and I want to tie a bow so I'm leaving kind of a long tail. Let's see if I can get this accomplished. Oh I can, yay. <laughs> Sometimes bows can be the trickiest part about a card, can't they? I don't know if you guys ever find that to be the case. I know some people are just really expert at tying them, others struggle. I'm pretty decent at tying a bow because I tie a lot of them and I, you know, that old saying that practice makes perfect, whoops, certainly does prove to be true here. Okay, then I'm just going to snip this and snip that. I almost got my finger. Be careful because if you have these paper snips, and you should have them because they're great, it's easy to snip yourself. You will bleed. Trust me. Okay, here comes the Timeless Label Punch and our scrap of Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to add the little happy birthday circle. I'm just putting glue in the middle of it 
We're going to add that happy birthday circle right to the middle of this. I love layering um, tags like this, or um, punches like this. I just think it's a really interesting look. And by the way, this card was designed by one of my team members, Kathy Miller. And I asked her if I could use it for this blog hop, and she said she would be honored. And how sweet is that? I love sharing um, cards with team members, and I also love showing off what my team members have made. All right, one thing I forgot to do, you guys, I was supposed to tuck this little, this piece of um, glimmer paper under this tag, and I forgot to do that. So to correct that problem, I'm gonna take this over to my paper cutter. I'm gonna cut just a sliver off of here so I can butt it up against it and save the day. Hang tight. Okay, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but this is going to solve my problem. I wanted to tuck this right under my designer series paper, but I kind of forgot. So now I'm just going to butt it right up against it. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of liquid glue there, and that is going to be perfect. Okay, turn it over, trim it off. Is that not adorable? All right, this is gonna go on our card front with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I don't want it to sag at all, so I'm gonna put quite a few on here to make sure it has good support. Here we go. I'm just going to put this at an angle. <clears throat> Here's our crumb cake layer. One of the coolest things you can do in your card making is to layer, layer, layer. And I love lots of layers because it really does take your card to a whole new level. And as long as you've got cardstock, I recommend if you're a beginner, buy the assorted packs of our color families. We have Rich Regals, Soft Settles, Bold Brights, and our In Colors, and also our Neutrals. Buy the assorted packs, so you get, I think, three sheets of each one, so you'll be able to layer like a boss also. Is that not the cutest little card? Okay, we still need to do the inside. And what I decided to do for the inside We've got this cute little greeting. We've already said happy birthday on the front. So I'm gonna come in here and do this in Bermuda Bay. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? We've got, oh, let's do the candles. That's gonna look neat. I'm gonna bring back, oh, I know. I wanted to use up one of these little random strips that's laying in my designer series paper. So I'm gonna add this. This is 3 quarters of an inch wide. We're going to cut it down to four inches long to match our card inside layer. Just another great way to use up scraps. Isn't that cute? It's already cute. And then do we want candles? I think I want to do a hat. And I'm going to do my hat in crushed curry. I'm just going to put it right there and then come in with one of those cute little pom-poms on there. Oh, I got that a little crooked, but I think I'll be forgiven. Put a little wink of Stella on it. And put our card inside. Put our card layer inside is what I meant to say. There we go. What do you think? Isn't that a cute little card? I love the flicking of the marker in the background. It just really kind of tones that white down. Now, I wanted to make a matching gift card holder, so I decided to bring in these craft pillow boxes. Now, you get 10 of these in a package for only $5. Craft pillow boxes, add these to your order. You will love them. They're already put all together. They're already scored on the ends. All you do is fold them in like this, and they make a cute, little box and look at they stay they stay together like that they're like magic <laughs> okay I'm gonna flatten mine back out maybe oops 
so that we can decorate it a little bit. It's easier to decorate when it's flat. So I have a piece of designer series paper here. This is two inches wide by seven and a half inches long, I think. Yeah, seven and a half inches long. This is gonna be a belly band around my pillow box. Then I took my scrap of Bermuda Bay and I die cut one of our stitched circle shapes. And again, it's got that stitching on it that goes along with the tag that comes in the birthday Bonanza dies. So we're gonna do that. One more thing we need to do, here's our scrap. We're going to stamp the toucan. You wanna make sure you get him inked up really good in the black ink, because we want a nice solid image. And that turned out great. Then I'm going to grab my light Calypso Coral Stampin' Blend marker. And I'm going to color in his beak. And then I want light. This is, this is so saffron. And then I'm going to use dark. Nope, that's daffodil. I want mango. A dark mango. And this just gives him a nice, colorful little beak. Matches all the colors in the designer series paper so that you know your card is gonna all blend together nicely. Then what I'm gonna do, oh look, I got black all over that. Doesn't matter, we're gonna die cut our toucan. I'll be right back. Here comes our little dude. And I decided that I wanted to put a wobbler on the back, or a wobble. Now, you've seen me use these before. This is what they look like. I buy the smaller ones, there's 48 in a pack and I get them on Amazon. So this is what you're looking for if you'd like to get some. Both sides of these are self-adhesive. So I'm just going to peel that backing off and put it on my toucan. Now I hope this is not going to be too big. And it's a little snug, but it fits, yay! So you can't see that from the front. Well, you can see a little bit over here. So, where'd my scissors go? Right here. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut it just a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can accomplish this. I wanna make sure I don't cut his feet off by accident. Ooh, I think I can pull it right off of there because it'll set up after a little bit. So just know that, that these don't fall off. But because I had just put it on here. So if you need to trim it, I know it fits perfectly on the koala bear and the lion. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Um, let's peel this other backing off. I love these things and I love things that move. Like who doesn't like to play with a card? And that one was being a little stinker. It's not hard to get off. There we go. Now I'm going to put this right in the center of this circle. Whoops! <laughs> and look at it. Is that not fun? I love to play with these. I know, I'm just a child at heart. Okay, next thing I'm going to do... Oh, I planned on making this meat in the middle on the front. Do I still want to do that? I think I'm going to make it meat in the back because that circle isn't quite big enough to cover it up completely. So I'm just going to fold this over, nice and snug, fold this over, and this is quite a bit longer than I really needed, but it's okay. It doesn't, it's not going to hurt anything. So probably about six inches would have been enough. But again, this was just a scrap that was in my designer series paper pack, so it doesn't matter. Oops, I slid it. Come on. I'm picky about this. So don't worry, nobody's ever gonna know that you peeled that apart under there or that I did. Okay, balloons, right side up, that's important. 
here comes our stitched shape circle. I'm gonna put that right on the front here. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Before I do that, I wanted to put some of this ruched ribbon on here. And I'm just gonna tie this around the middle and I'm gonna have a little knot coming off the side because it matches and it's cute and it'll, it'll match our card nicely. This is also part of the Birthday Bonanza Suite. This ruched ribbon, it's really pretty, I love it. And it's easy to um, work with. It's easy to tie bows with. It's easy to tie knots with. Okay, here we go. Here comes our little toucan. Get that in the middle. Isn't that stinking adorable? Yeah. Now, you just pop it up like this. So you fold the one in that doesn't have the little half circle cut out of it or divot. And then, where did my gift card go? That's what fell on the floor before. I happen to have a Maurice's gift card here. Fits in there perfectly. The other thing you can do is put in a Ghirardelli dark chocolate sea salt caramel because why wouldn't you? <laughs> Throw that in there. Throw that in there with the gift card. That's a neat idea. And close up your little pillow box. Is that not adorable? Look at both of these. Super, super cute. Let's get our mess cleaned up here a little bit. Well, just shoved out of the way. Let's be real, Kelly. Is that not cute? So, hand deliver this birthday card with a gift card holder, or if you don't want to give a gift card, you can just fill this up with candy. What else could we fit in here? You could fit jewelry in here, um, new car keys. I'm always looking for a new car. So, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I finally let go of my Ford Explorer. And I say that with, um, I don't know, it, it was really hard for me to do that. But I decided that I had enough of it. The heater didn't work in it very good, and it had 170,000 miles on it. And one side was smashed up because I had a little tangle with the dumpster last year, if you remember that. But I finally um, let it go. I gave it to my sister, and she was very grateful to have it. And I'm glad that I could do that for her. It runs great, but new car would be great. <laughs> I keep telling my husband. New car would be wonderful, but I'll figure that out later. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. All right, you guys, don't forget, this is the One Stamp at a Time blog hop. There are some incredibly talented stampers in this design team. And you can click right up here to head over to my blog. Uh, my blog address is right here. And if you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. It is what keeps me in business and keeps these free videos coming your way. Please use this host code if your order is under $150. And if it's over $150, do not use that code because you're going to get some benefits from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. Remember, with every $50 that your order totals, you get to choose a free item out of our celebration promotion brochure. And this is a free item. You get both rolls of twine and these gorgeous sequins that match this whole suite free with a $50 order. Now, I talked about the fact that this design was Kathy's design. She is one of my longest team members. She's been with me for 15 years. And if you would like to join my team, whether you'd like to build a business or be a discount shopper, I do not discriminate. When you join during celebration before the end of March, you're going to get this little mini paper trimmer free with your kit. You're also going to get this great big pack of designer series paper, and it has some of our birthday bonanza paper in there. Look at, there's the balloons, okay? You're also going to get to choose a free stamp set, any stamp set of your choice. Make sure you get an expensive one because it's the free one, right? Yeah. So... Join my team. The kit is $99. You get to choose $125 in any product you want. Nothing is predetermined. Plus, you get a paper pumpkin kit on top of it that has a $20 value plus. 
you also get free shipping. So I haven't really added all this up, but with all of this stuff and a free stamp set, I would say that you're looking at about $200 for $99 free shipping. All you do is pay the tax on that. And you get to be part of my fabulous team. I love my team members. We do a card swap every month. That's how I got a hold of Kathy's card, is that this was one of her card swaps. And um, every month, everybody on my team is welcome to swap with us. We have a lot of fun. And again, whether you want to be a discount shopper or build a business out of it, I will help you. Along the way, I'm always here to answer questions, and my team is a pretty fun place to be. Okay, head over there, blog hop. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that bell that's right there. That'll help you get notifications when I have a new video video available. Give me a thumbs up if you're on YouTube watching. That always helps me out too. Don't forget to watch me Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time. I do a Facebook Live on my Facebook page, A Stamp Above Dash Your Creative Coach. Hope to see you Sunday night. Bye-bye.